Pay attention to the two meter tall man in front of he. He actually calls himself Little Baby. Isn't that too bizarre? That day, Nana stood dazedly at the hospital gate. It turns out his mother has cancer, urgently needs money. At her wit's end, she was attracted by a job advertisement. It said, Night Nanny, 300,000 a month. Without hesitation, she tore off the last piece of paper. After getting in her boyfriend's car, she immediately called the employer. When she heard that the original 300,000 per month had doubled to 600,000, she immediately agreed to start working that day. Even if the god comes, she will still work. But her boyfriend was not happy at this moment. Today is his birthday. You only know how to work and make money, but not to accompany me. The two of them started arguing directly. Finally, after Tone dropped off his girlfriend at the employer's house, he drove away directly. Just as he reached the gate, Nana saw a note posted on the door. It said she wasn't home, and the baby was upstairs. After a moment of thought, Nana walked straight into the house. After a moment of looking around, he heard the baby crying. Without hesitation, Nana ran upstairs. As she approached the crib, Nana only saw a fake doll. Suddenly, a man covered in plush toes, a man covered in shit, came over holding a doll. The man is the little baby Carter that Nana is going to take care of today. If the child you're taking care of looks like this, with this appearance, how long can you endure? Nana seeing the baby's appearance and hearing his loud voice, this big face, this tall figure was almost scared away. Carter loudly said, Don't make me chase you. Faced with danger, Nana had to obey, crying and vomiting. She slowly helped the man clean up. The man occasionally made baby-like sounds. The man's stench made Nana cough and cough. He was playing with a big camera on the bed. Looks disgusting. Suddenly, he called. Mommy. Oh my god. That almost sent me away too. Nana took the opportunity to run away quickly. Nana quickly ran downstairs. Carter immediately chased after her and hugged her. Faced with the huge Carter, Nana's struggles were in vain. Nana bumped into the table corner and fainted. Nana was picked up. She broke down and cried bitterly. Carter approached and slapped Nana hard. Then, FUCKING PEOPLE! When you're not supposed to, I will put you in timeout. Then he introduced the women on the wall to Nana. Look at these women. They didn't listen, so I smashed them with a hammer, so I killed about many people like that. Just as Carter was about to send Nana away, Carter approached and slapped Nana hard. Nana began to assure him that she would never leave. I will take care of you for the rest of my life. Carter softened. He decided to give Nana another chance. The man in front now of her, me. sucking a pacifier with two round rosy cheeks drawn on it, holding a doll in his hand, is named Carter. Don't be fooled by his harmless appearance. He's actually a dead pervert. He's waiting for his nanny to feed him. He's very happy. He's chewing with enjoyment. Nana is trying her best to coax her to eat. Suddenly, he spits the food onto Nana's face. Let out a creepy laugh. Nana please hold back your anger and wipe the rice off your face. At this moment, the doorbell rang. It turned out to be Nana's boyfriend. Coming to pick her out from work, the pervert pushed Nana down. Hearing the man's voice, the pervert flew into a rage and stomped on Nana's ankle, breaking it. Hearing his girlfriend in danger, searched frantically. What the fuck is going on here? Allison! The special Lenvo used his disheveled wig technique to drive the man away. Carter was covered in blood. He came to Nana and yelled, Come and play with me quickly. Playing hide and seek. Nana was almost scared, unconscious. With her injured leg, she went to the kitchen and picked up an 80 meter long big knife. Waiting for Carter to come, the man walked in slowly. Suddenly, Nana took the opportunity to cut off the artery in the giant baby's back ankle. When the giant baby is struggling in great pain, the woman took the opportunity to escape and successfully knocked out Carter. Then Nana took her boyfriend's car keys. And a chase ensued. Just when I thought Nana could run away successfully, Nana was caught by Carter. Just as I was about to be strangled to death by Carter, the woman erupted with primitive power. With a cry, she smashed Carter's dog's head at. Slipping under her feet, the man fell on his back. Nana is a brave woman. She taught us that no matter what difficulties we encounter, we must face them bravely. That's life. In the morning, Nana was covered in blood, driving past the scene of last night's incident.